The Indian population is about 1.2 billion and about two-thirds of the population lives in rural areas. Jharkhand is one of the least developed states of India and one of the states with the poorest infrastructure, including the banking infrastructure. A large part of the rural population in India lives in areas of that sort where the infrastructure is really inadequate. Giving every Indian family a free bank account, even in the country's most remote regions, that's the goal of the People's Money Programme, vast government plan to lift the masses out of poverty. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has declared the programme a huge success, with more than 135 million accounts opening since its launch last year. But in rural India, home to more than 60% of the population, high expectations are held back by limited infrastructure. Financial inclusion doesn't just mean that you open bank accounts for people. I mean, that is relatively easy and has already been done on a fairly large scale in India. Uh, but financial inclusion should mean that you actually provide adequate banking services to everyone. And we are still very, very far from that in most parts of India. Manaka, Jharkhand, the only State Bank of India branch within 19 miles operates here, in the area's main town where many people are illiterate and few are familiar with banking. Manaka has seen thousands of new accounts. The government now distributes pensions, subsidies and other transfer payments electronically, at least in theory. In practice, things don't go quite so smoothly. <laughs> Rudder lives in a village more than 13 miles from Manaka. She says she left home at sunrise to come and collect her 10 US dollar monthly pension. This bank struggles to cope even with basic operations. It's common for new bank accounts to malfunction. At this stage, it is still hard to imagine one day people using credit cards, banking online or taking out loans. Gotam applied for a rupee debit card, India's alternative to Visa and MasterCard. He says he has visited this bank six times, but is still unable to use it. एक दिन का उनका घर का काम या मजदूरी मारी जाती है अगर हम बैंक आते हैं आने जाने के एक प्रॉब्लम होता है दूसरा प्रॉब्लम होता है कि जब बैंक में आ गए तो कई बार बैंक में इतने सारे भीड़ हैं क्योंकि यहाँ मनिका में अधिकांश लोगों का बैंक खाता स्टेट बैंक में है तो ओवर क्राउड हो जाता है और तीसरे तरह का प्रॉब्लम यह होता है कि बैंक का कारोबार पूरी तरह कनेक्टिविटी से दूर संचार तो यहाँ डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेडक्वार्टर तक में पंद्रह पंद्रह दिनों तक इंटरनेट कनेक्टिविटी नहीं रहती है the local bank manager recognizes that bringing functional financial services to such a remote district will take time. हम लोग चाह रहे हैं कि वो लोग जो 30 किलोमीटर से जो आते हैं और जिनको जानकारी नहीं होता कि हमारी पेंशन आ रही है या नहीं आई है तो हम लोग सूचित आप कर देंगे कि जितने सारे गांव के लोग मुखिया हैं उनको हम लोगों ने मैं सूचित कर दूंगा कि आप सारे लोगों को बता दें ताकि उन लोगों को आने जाने में परेशानी नहीं हो जब पेंशन आए तब वो हमारे शाखा में आए और पेंशन भुगतान लेके जाए
But how can 75-year-old Rudder avoid this monthly expedition that comes with no guarantees? While some experts say that more bank branches are needed in remote areas, various nascent programs are experimenting with branchless banking. In other parts of India, telecom companies are allowing people to use mobile phones and tablets for simple transactions, while a government-run network of field agents, known as business correspondents, has started to offer banking services in localized areas. For now, that doesn't help Radha, who doesn't know how to use a mobile phone. She relies entirely on her widow's pension for survival. The government says that thanks to the People's Money program, virtually all households now have an account. But India is only setting this stage for the development of basic services, which still seems inaccessible to most people who live in the countryside. I still feel that it's at least a question of 10, 20 years uh, before India has a well-functioning banking, banking infrastructure that serves the bulk of the population.